Hi, in this video we're going to be solving the following problem. Find the dihedral angle between the following pairs of planes. Now, we have two questions here, question A and question B. Question A, we have the equation of a plane, or one particular plane, this one, and we have another one over here. And we're asked to find the angle between them. This diagram over here kind of exemplifies what we're trying to do. Now specifically it asks for the dihedral angle. This is the, generally is the cute angle, the smaller one. So in this particular case here, can't really see it, but it would be this angle from the, the uh, perspective you're seeing on top. It's not the one below. Let's get started. To do this, all we have to do is find the normals of each plane and find the angles between, or, or the angle between the two normals. So how do you do that? Well, you just look at the equation itself. In the equation of a plane here, we have 2x plus 3y minus z equals 5. Just look at the coefficients for the left term here. The 2x, the 3y, and the negative z. Look at the coefficients specifically. It's 2, 3, and negative 1. So 2, 3, and negative 1. This is the normal for the first plane. The normal, I'll just put n1. Actually, I'll put n0. Now for the next one, we have 1, 1, and a 5. And this is the normal for the next one. Let's put that as n1. Now all we do is find the angle between them. Now there are various ways to do this. I'm going to be using the method which finds uh, the sine of the angle. And what I mean is I'm using this formula. It's the cross between the normals here. I'll put n0, the cross between this and the other one. The magnitude of this cross, specifically, or the length, it's sometimes referred to as, divided by the length of one of the normals, multiply the length of the other normal, or the magnitude, same thing. And this will equal the sine of whatever angle lies in between them. Now, just for notes, if the angle is larger than 90 degrees, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do 180 degrees, subtract whatever angle you found, and that's going to be your dihedral angle to solve the question. So let's, let's go ahead and put in all the data we know. The first thing we're going to need to do is take the cross of these two normals we found. So I have a video on that in case you forgot. Now I'm going to assume you do know how to take the cross and I'm going to do it quickly here. So uh, 3 times 5 is 15. Subtract, that would, that would be negative 1, so it's going to be 16 later on. Put the negative there, that's going to be 10. Subtract 1, that's also going to, or subtract negative 1, so it's positive 1. Overall, it's going to be 11 or positive, or negative 11. The last one's going to be 2, subtract 3, so... Uh, 2 subtract 3. Let's put that there. This is going to be the cross. So we're going to have 16, negative 11, and this is a negative 1. Now, now that we found the cross, according to the equation here, we have to find the magnitude of it or the length. We do this by squaring everything inside here. 16 squared plus, uh, I guess, negative 11 squared then plus negative one squared. We're gonna be doing that. Because it's getting a bit messy, I'll just write whatever it equals to above here. So roughly it is the square root of 378. I'm not actually going to solve that just yet because it's a lot of decimal places and I wanna keep my answer as accurate as possible. So now that we found that, we want to find the magnitude of this, this normal and the next one. So let's go ahead and do the same thing for this first normal, normal zero. That's gonna be two squared plus three squared plus and negative one squared. All of this being square root, so what is that? That's a four, that's a nine, add a nine and add a one. So it's gonna be square root 14 overall there. So we have a square root 14 down here, multiply the next, uh, I guess the, the next magnitude for this normal right here. Well, one squared is just one plus one squared again, just one, then we have five squared, which is 25, all this being square rooted. So we have, what is it? This is a two and that's 25. So we have 27 over here, and this is going to give us the sine of the angle, which happens to be equal to one. So if you actually wanna find the angle or the, the to answer the question, you're going to do you're going to take the sine inverse or the arc sine of whatever you found arc sine of this will give you 90 degrees so that is the that that's the the degrees between these two planes there now let's move on to the next question b let's take the normals again so n0 is going to equal in this case it's 1 2 and 3 and 1 or the next normal is uh, negative 2 3 and 1 and now we take the cross between them, which is going to give us a 2 subtract 9, then negative. We have 1 subtract 6, or 1 add 6, so it's going to be a 7 in there, comma. 3 subtract 4, or just 3, sorry, 3 subtract negative 4, or just 3 add 4, which is 7 over here. This will be negative 7, negative 7, and a positive 7. And it wants the magnitude of this, so we're going to square all of this, and I'll get rid of the negatives, so it's going to give us the square root of 147. Mind you, we're also taking the square root of all of this. That's where the radical came from. 
and it's going to be divided by these two things. Let's do that step. Well, that, that one up there is going to be a 14. So square root 14, multiply something else. It'll be four, but it's gonna be the same thing, essentially. Also a square root 14. So this gives us a number with a bunch of decimal places. I omitted the decimal places just for simplicity's sake. Now, if you take the arc sign of the value you found, you will get roughly something around, let's see, the arc sign of 0 0.86 will give you 60 degrees. And that's the answer for question B. That is the, the, the degrees between these two planes in that particular perspective. And that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. And as usual, I hope you're having a fantastic day.